Hey gang, and welcome to your very first step in becoming a Firebase Authentication Ninja. Alright then my friends, so this course is all about Firebase Authentication, and that's going to allow us to implement some kind of authentication flow into our front-end applications or websites, so that users can sign up, log in, access data, have profiles, etc. But first of all, let's look at the bigger picture for a second. What is Firebase as a whole? Well, Firebase is a complete backend as a service with many different features that can plug right into our applications. And those features are listed right down here. So we have loads of different things that we can use with Firebase. Some of these are a real-time database, cloud storage, cloud functions, hosting, and authentication. So as a whole, altogether, these different Firebase services provide us with a whole complete backend infrastructure for our websites so that we don't need to go out and create one ourselves from scratch in a lot of cases. So in this series, we're going to hone our skills in one area of Firebase, authentication. So to do that, we'll be making an application which looks something like this called Game Guides. So the idea of this application is to allow logged in users to see a load of different guides. So if I log in, as Yoshi at the netninja.co.uk and I've already made this account previously and I'm going to say test1234 if I log in now I should be able to see all of those different guides and I can expand them as well I can also see my account information by clicking on account right there and I can log out now if I log in as a different user and by the way we can sign up right here as well for new users but if I log in as a different user, this time a Sean at the net ninja.co.uk, test1234. If I log in, I'm going to see a couple of different things. First of all, I see this create guide button, so I can create now new guides as well. So I can say Mario Kart 8 cheats or something like that, paste in a load of lore ipsum for now. I can create that, and that's going to appear in real time in these guides. I don't need to refresh the page. And that's the Firebase Firestore in action as well. And we're going to use that in this course to store all of this data. You're also going to see this other admin section right here where I can type in a different user's email and make them an admin. So a minute ago, we logged in as Yoshi and Yoshi wasn't an admin. But if I want to make Yoshi an admin, I could type in their email right here, yoshi at the net ninja.co.uk. And I'm just going to open up the console over here because I want to log this out to the console when I make this person an admin. So if I click on this button, then we're going to see this response right here, which says success, Yoshi at the Net Ninja has been made an admin. Okay. So now if I log out and log back in as Yoshi again, with a password of test1234, if I log in, then now I can see that I'm an admin as well. I can create new guides. I can make other people admins, etc. So that's really cool. We're using these two different levels of authentication. Normal users, which can read all of these different guides, and also admin users, which can create new guides and create new admins. And people who are not authenticated altogether, not logged in, they can't do anything. They can't read guides or they can't create anything. All right, so we have these different tiers of authentication and we're going to cover all of this inside this course. Now, as always, I've created all of the different course files for this series. You're going to find them on this repo right here, Firebase Auth. The link to that is down below. And when you first land on this repo, you're going to land on the master branch and you're going to look at this and think, actually, there's no code right here. Where is it all? And the reason that is, is because I've created code for each individual lesson. So if you want to see lesson 10 code or 11 code, you go to that branch, for example, lesson 10, and you're going to see that code right here, like so. Okay. Also, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code for this course. It's a really cool free editor that you can download for Windows or Mac. So if you want to download that, go to code.visualstudio.com. You can download it right here. And I want to show you one package that I've got installed that's going to help for this course called Live Server. So if you want to install that, go to the packages over here, search for Live Server and install it. What that's going to allow us to do is spin up a local development server to preview our application on. So we'll talk more about that later when we come to preview it. And finally, just a few things that I would recommend you knowing before you start this course. First of all, I expect you to have at least a basic knowledge of JavaScript. 
things like constants, functions, loops, etc. So if you don't know any of that, this is not the course to start on. Feel free to check out my JavaScript for beginners course. First of all, the link is going to be down below. Secondly, I'll also be using HTML, CSS and Materialize to create the, the template of this website. Now, you don't have to understand Materialize or anything like that, but if you do want to learn more about it, I've got a Materialize playlist down below as well. So I'll leave that course there for everyone that wants to learn more. And finally, I would recommend that you know a little bit about Firebase, Firestore or the real-time database because that's what we're going to be using in this course as well. Now, I will talk about this briefly and how to use the basic features, but I do have a whole playlist on Firebase Firestore right on this channel. It's about 10 videos long, so if you want to check out that first, that would be a good place to start as well. The link is going to be down below. For everyone else, if you're still with me, I really hope you enjoy this series. And if you do, my friends, don't forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.